Haven't seen Mass Builder. So Mass Builder, it's here. I'll give you. I'll show you what it is. Giant robots. Hey, what's up, you guys? So welcome, welcome to this new video. This is a video for a game that is a bit less popular out of the games that I play, but it's amazing. It is called Mass Builder, and essentially you are a giant freaking robot going and destroying these enemies known as quarks. And there's a whole storyline, and the game is still in development. Like, they haven't finished it. They're still adding to the storyline. They're adding all kinds of new armors, new weapons. You're going to hear me go on and on and on, because I'm in love with this game. Now, there's nowhere... I have no other way to say it. I'm in love with this game. So we're probably going to be playing through with some, some more. You're going to see some more episodes, so stay tuned for that. And until then, enjoy the video, and... Later. later. Ah. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Bear with me. Heck, they ain't mechs. Those are guns. Dude. Because legally, they're not Gundams, but they're Gundams, dude. That's one reason, like, we, there is no, Bandai hasn't come out with a game, or at least come out with a game that's for sale to us here, that is a storyline like the Gundam animes with their Gundams. They haven't done that yet. It's just Gundam versus Gundam and every single thing. It's like player versus player. Like, just, there's no story. And until they come out with a story, I don't really like player versus player, like fighting games. I'm not about that. Um, Oi, lad, I see you're in good condition after that first mission. As a veteran, it's always good to see the pilot doing fine. See? See, and then you guys give dumb voices for me. In the old days, we were still needing to get out there and risk getting injured with all the void particles. I'd wear a protective suit and have you run by the doctors for anything already. Those things itch, itch a lot, I tell you. So yeah, they don't... It's... Like, mm. You remembered Kale telling you before he joined the company that he was once a very esteemed frontier engineer that was working alongside the mechs with pilots inside them. He sometimes jokingly said that they had to remove pilots crippled from the void particles from their mechs. Now it's all ranged controls. If only we were able to invent all these earlier, more pilots would have survived. I don't know why I changed accents, but... In your history lessons, you once saw footage of large construction machineries defending a building against quarks. It is said that old men and women pilot these things to stall for time, and the only thing they they can recover were these machineries to be cleaned and rebuilt. So I can assume you're perfectly fine. I was afraid your feedback transmission system will hurt you, but seeing this thing stand tall with just minor damages, yeah, I was too worried about you, lad. See? There we go, guys. See, I'm sorry. Also, I've been having this thing all day where my headphone cord is just tangling itself around any other cord it can get, and it's been driving me nuts. Or maybe it was because Quindle is hard work. You may be right. That grandchild of mine was a genius after all. <laughs> but, you know, being a person of my age, I don't want youngins like her working this hard. She should have more. Should have. Should she should have a more entertaining childhood. <laughs> there you go. And that means you as well, Commander. If ever you work too hard, I'll smack some sense into you and have Raina lock you up in a treatment room. That dude could destroy anybody. That dude himself can do more damage than the mech. Oh, sorry about my rant. So I just want to see you in the flesh after the first mission. It seems my words were for nothing. You looked as healthy as ever. It felt good to come out of retirement to this. Thanks, lad. Now I need to continue my work. Seeing you guys like this, I need to train better engineers so we'll work better. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, voices or no voices. <laughs> as quickly as the old man came for you, he vanished. Into the crowd of engineers cheering, you smiled. This is what successful missions feel like, huh? Oh, trust me, we're going to find out what an unsuccessful mission feels like. So yeah, I don't have anything. Like, we can unlock... The amazing thing about this game is simply how customizable everything is. You never see who you are, like the pilot, but you can customize all your armor. You can customize all the colors, like the neon colors. 
every single thing you can get in like you can think about you can customize it has been a few days now from your last mission you have been thinking a lot in, on kale's words last time and now that you've lol got some time without any missions it's working hard on getting things better on the ground with the last mission showing how things can turn out and what you your preferred style is your crew members are adjusting themselves to your needs without fail talking more with everyone helps you've been dead set on becoming a pilot that just follows orders from the wdf now you've got mo many more responsibilities and you need to learn from every aspect possible commander there's a mission posted by the WDF requiring help from anyone who's available. By my calculations, we will still be making a profit and it'll be beneficial to every side. Come meet me at the mission briefing room when you're ready. Oh boy. Now I feel like I've scared everybody off. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, like we can customize all of our weapons, armors, like it's... oh. We can even do like, we can have like six, it's like up to 24 different like mechs built, I think. Oh, oh, this game. I forgot about it. And yes, I've played through this before, but I only stuck with like a very specific type. So now I just want to like branch out and have some more fun. System now, Kunai should be calling in. There she is. How convenient. That wasn't even a minute. Now I wonder if this is a mission that people think is too dangerous or, or not paying enough. Thank you very much for the quick response. I'll now explain the mission to the commander. What is, I don't like the armband. And the sleeves. Why are these like bell-bottom sleeves? Anyways, around three hours ago, we were supposed to receive supplies from the shelter that was sent... We were supposed to receive airborne supplies for the shelter that was sent to us. However, the supplies package did not reach the designated area that it should be sent to. Was that due to the snowstorm or did it all or that wait, was that due to the snowstorm that often happens around the area? Exactly. These unpredictable snowstorms have blown away the supplies. We are about to send our retrieval team alongside our mass units, but during this time, most of us are out on missions. We will assign you to one area alongside other PMCs as the supplies are quite scattered. Please get rid of any quarks in the area and stand by until our retriever unit can go and bring them back. Let's go. Let's get you guys to the action now. With our giant golden robot. So yeah, it's like, these are pretty much Gundams that are completely controlled remotely. So instead of the pilot being in the mass builder. Mm, okay, sorry guys, remembering controls. Oh, hello. Hmm. Uh, what is it, what is lock on? F. There we go. We gotta focus on this guy. Hmm. That guy's actually new. I don't think I've seen him. Ooh. Like, I think they might have added a new mini boss. <laughs> so, yeah, and then with each uh, one that you take out, you get uh, uh, more like points and parts to take out. Wow, that is bright as hell. No wonder I named it that. Uh, you get more, like, points to... Yeah, you get more uh, points to take out... Or more... Sorry, guys. Uh, English. You get more points to, like, earn new... Like, resources to upgrade, new parts. Like... But, yeah, like, as we progress, we can get, like... Obviously, better guns. We can get different kind of, like sword blades, different kind of like 
on all kinds of fun stuff. All right, so there's those. Hmm. But yeah, we can get like lighter builds so we can get more health, more fuel, like for longer air time. Like, like this game is, is just pretty neat. So yeah, it's a little different than Gundam's. Wait, why are they immune? Why are they immune? Oh, he was just spawning. Yeah, so each gun... Ooh, I don't like how close he was. And yeah, there are also like bosses, like, like there's really cool bosses actually. They do a really good job on the bosses. They're coming out with like new armor sets, new gun types, new like gun effects, like all kinds of crazy stuff. All right. Like small dev team that's working on it, but they do a really good job and they really care. Like, they care about their fans, and they, like, they care about those who play the game. So it's, it's an awesome, like, relationship with them. Like, it's, even though, like, obviously we don't talk, but, yeah, guys, it's, this, it's cool. I, I dig this game. Boss time. Let's do it. Where is he? Where is he? Ooh. Oh, we got flying guy. Whoa. That's new. That's a new enemy. I've never I've played this game before. He was not in it. No. What? Okay. We're going to do we're going to do a small guys first here. What? He just doesn't care. Yeah, they they they've added new enemies since last I played this. Yeah, those are our bosses. Those are brand new, guys. That was lucky. That was lucky. I think these little guys are just gonna keep showing up. We gotta, we gotta focus on big guys. And so each enemy... Ooh, there's more of them, too. There, he'll be close to the others. But yeah, you guys, like this game... Like, for... For the the team that's working on it, I think they they are Vermilion Studios. Like, they're really good, and honestly, their English translations are are pretty good. Like, they could be much, much, much worse. That's right. This is you, buddy boy. You gotta deal with me. Nice. So there we go. Then we collect the loot. And there we go, mission clear. Dust off the hands, and we're good to go.